Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ben Iwara and today on this episode I'm going to be reviewing the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. Stay tuned. So first things first, what's the reason why you want to get a camera? Do you want to do more photography or do you want to do more of videos? For me, I had my reasons why I purchased this camera and I'll be telling you those reasons why. But it's always important for you to know the reason why you want to get the camera. That way it narrows things down on the kind of camera you should purchase and the kind of camera that you should go for. So I'm just going to be telling you guys something and this is not a biased opinion because seemingly I've been in the Canon family for literally all my life. But the truth is I've used a lot of other cameras including Sony's, including Fujifilm. My opinion right now is not biased, it's just going to be very very natural and very very genuine. And also this is not a technical review because the truth is I've only been using this camera for the past one month but I've had my experiences and I want to share about it now. So at first sight, the body of the Canon EOS R6 Mark II is a beauty to behold. It has a very, very good grip, it has a wider body. Since I'm coming from my EOS R, um, there's a thing I had with the, the flip screen. Whenever I put in my microphone, I can't easily flip the screen, but I can do that with the R6 Mark II and I think that's something they considered and I think is very very good. So if you notice the body of the camera there are a lot of other buttons which are customizable and I think that's very cool. It also has an analog button now for easier control although I don't find it very easy to control but yeah I think when you get a hang of it you get a hang of it. Another cool thing is that it has a dual memory card space because of the amount of large files that you're going to be dealing with. They've also introduced a flip switch from camera to video mode, which I think is very good. The EOS R, before you switch to video mode, you have to go into menu. You have to you know you have to click on information before you switch from video to photo, which I found very, very stressful. But you know, when you get used to something, it seems kind of easy, but I don't think that was cool enough. It's very, very stressful. And having that feature corrected with this camera, I think is very, very good. Another good thing is that they both have dedicated menus, so different menu settings for video and also for photos as well. I mean, it's giving a cinema camera, right? So if you notice the mode dial, there are three customizable options and also an option for creative filters. Now these creative filters are very, very cool. You have stuff like fish eye effects, miniature effects, which I think are very, very cool. If you don't just want to do straight point and shoot, you can try out these features in your photography. Another thing I noticed is the good speaker system. Whenever I'm replaying a video, the volume is quite loud. So I think that's cool. So obviously this is a full frame camera with a large dynamic range. And this is one of the reasons why I got this camera because coming from the US R, I could only shoot um, 4K and it was a crop factor and only 8 bits in camera. But with this camera, I can shoot 4K, 10 bits, full frame with a large dynamic range, which is very helpful for me. And it's helping me improve my color gradient by giving me very good files that I can easily color grade and there wouldn't be so much noise and pixelation in the this camera is also good in low lights i mean i tried this in a room with little or no lights and the best part is there's very very little noise even if you're shooting at a very high iso so i really give it to canon for that also i i don't think you can compare the autofocus of this camera with any other camera in this price range currently because it is extremely good you can detect people objects, subjects, animals, which is excellent, even in low light situations. So the best part is you can shoot 4K full frame and it is down sampled from 6K, which gives you greater quality than the average 4K recorded footage. Another cool feature of this camera is that there is no record limit, which is very, very good. I mean, I hate the fact that I would have to like be recording the video, I'd have to pause before the 30 minute mark and continue my recording again. This doesn't have that limit, but it comes with the detriment. The detriment is this. It overheats and it consumes a lot of battery and consumes a lot of memory space, but only on one condition. If you're putting this 
camera to the test by recording 4K 60 frames per second. It's going to overheat and it's going to consume a lot of battery. A matter of fact, they're even going to let you know that it is going to overheat and it's going to consume a lot of battery. So that is one pack. I think that's the price to pay for having to use such a camera with great features and for such a great price. So the good thing is that it doesn't just record in 4K 60 frames per second. This camera can actually shoot up to 180 frames per second, but it is in 1080 pixel. You guess that. But still and still, the quality for the 1080 pixel is still very, very good and very, very manageable. Of course, it shoots up to 120 frames as well, but the maximum is 180, which I think is the highlight. So like I said, this is not a very technical review. I'm just pointing out the features that really stood out for me and the reasons why I got this camera. Like I said earlier on, if you want to purchase a camera, there should be a reason why you're purchasing a camera. And the reason why I purchased this camera is because I want to get better at my filmmaking with good footages that I can color grade with a large dynamic range, obviously. And I really want to practice that. If you're not okay with the 4K 60 frames per second, you can opt to upgrade by getting an external monitor, which can help you record up to 6K 60 frames per second. <laughs> but your memory cards have to be extremely large and very free. So the good thing about this camera is that it's not so expensive and I feel for its counterpart, the A7 IV, I think this camera beats it hands down. I almost purchased a Sony camera, but the moment I found out that this camera was on the market and after checking out the features, I decided that I was going to go for this camera simply because I already purchased a lot of Canon lenses that I was ready to use and I wasn't ready for the hassle of purchasing new Sony lenses. But thinking about it, this camera in comparison with the Sony and other um, cameras in the market that rival it. I think this is the perfect camera. Um, it has a great autofocus. It's light and it has a lot of very, very cool features, which like I said, you must understand the reason why you're purchasing something. And for me, I want to get better at my filmmaking. And yeah, this just felt like a very good option for me. I'm very certain I didn't touch on every spec of this camera because it has a lot of very very cool features that I haven't been able to mention. I only talked about the things that really influenced my decision in purchasing this camera and the other features that I thought were very very cool and would be helpful in my photography. So if you want to know more about this camera you can check out the link in the description below to give you more specifications and more detailed information about this camera. I just really spoke about the features that really stood out for me and are going to be beneficial for my filmmaking and my photography skills. One thing I didn't mention, this camera is only a 24 megapixel camera, which is a bummer, but it still gives out very great quality in low light and even in good lighting situations as well. Although you cannot compare with my USR, but I mean, the video capabilities supplement for that. Anyway, thank you for sticking me to the end of this video. My name remains Baniwara and hopefully we see more review videos. If you like this, please click on the subscribe button. It helps me grow and it motivates me to create more. <laughs> I'm just joking. But anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me. On to my next video, keep it 100.